All right, what's going on, y'all? Rams 2022 training camp is underway. It's been a few days, and um, so far, so good. You know, like, I, like I've said, this is the early stages. They're just kind of getting their feet wet right now, you know, so that's what's going on there. We've heard some uh, some good things from several players, one of which our, uh, our star defensive back, Jalen Ramsey, is excited about our CB depth uh, calls to Kobe Durant sneaky super athletic. Let's get into this. We were just talking about Darion Kendrick and how well he's doing. Another uh, rookie defensive back, and it would appear that another rookie defensive back is playing well. I think we may have uh, done. I think we may have struck gold. I think we have found a good group of defensive backs in this past year's draft, and they all, they, the majority of them, seem to be coming along pretty well. So let's go ahead and see what Jalen has to say. Uh, Jalen has been a cornerstone of the cornerstone of the Rams secondary since he was acquired in a trade with the Jaguars in 2019. Boy, oh boy, that just seems like so long ago. <laughs> But the Rams have had a number of different cornerbacks line up with them. Troy Hill, Nicole Robbie Coleman, David Long Jr., Darius William, Robert Rochelle, Dante Dion among them. Um, you know, so he's played with a bunch of cornerbacks. This season, Williams is gone. He's over here in Duval now. So we'll see how uh Darius Williams does. You know, with, with good old Jacksonville. We'll see how see how he does. And uh, but Troy Hill's back. So that's that's exciting. And uh, there's a host of young talent in the secondary. And after the arrivals of Jacoby Durant and Darion Kendrick, two rookie corners with good upside, still early in camp, but Ramsey likes what he's seen from the group as a whole, singling, singling out Durant as highly athletic. Let's go ahead and see what Jalen has to say. He's quoted here. Hold on. All right. Uh, Jalen is quoted. He's a competitor. He's sneaky, sneaky, super athletic. He's very smart. Uh, he wants to soak up a lot of knowledge. But honestly, not just him. That's everybody. Him, DK, Darion Kendrick, continuing to develop and help school them. Like y'all saw last year, we went through a lot of injuries where guys couldn't play in certain games because our guys had the coof like myself and other guys had to step up. I think every corner who was active on our roster played at some point last year, having the depth like that and guys we can really trust. I hate when I hear like on a broadcast or something that they're really missing this guy or they're really missing that guy. I hate that. I like when it's kind of seamless. Like, yeah, maybe there's like a top dog, right? But then everyone else right under right under that is like all that uh, steady level which is an extremely high level of playing the position so that's kind of the goal for our whole unit okay okay and i agree with them yeah i it, it's i mean depth wins championships and you need to have good depth everyone needs to be on their grind everyone needs to learn their assignments and perform at a high level because odds are you will see playing time you will see playing time injuries happen you know um a lot look, look at last year uh, in our playoff run the super bowl we won those games in large part to a bunch of reserve players who had to step in and perform at a high level and they all did they all did and they did that because they they were they stuck to their grind during the training camp days, stepped up and it helped win us a championship. It wasn't just the stars we got in trades like most people in the NFL would like to lead you to believe. Our reserve players that we drafted and developed over the course of years contributed to us winning that championship in a big, big way. Okay? It wasn't just the stars. And to hear that our rookies, one, are very smart. That's the big thing. We High IQ football players, that's what I love. High IQ, 
high physical football players. That's the two traits I love the most. Okay. And the fact that they're playing well, albeit it's only been a few days, but they're playing well. So it's good to hear. I have I have high hopes for Darion Kendrick, and I've heard a lot of really a lot of people have been telling me how good the Kobe Durant is. And I feel like if they're both performing well, we we could they'll both definitely see the field this year. I am convinced of it. Ramsey and Hill are expected to be the two starters. Yep, I would agree with that. Um, when the when we're in the base defense, but David Long, Robert Rochelle, Durant, and Kendra could all contribute too if everyone stays healthy. And I have heard that Rochelle uh, is doing well so far in camp, and David Long played much better down the stretch. So all of a sudden, our our secondary is looking it's still early it's still early you know they still we still got to see them on the field in games but i mean so far it's looking like our secondary might be might be okay they might be all right they might even be strong we'll see but ah, get out of here ads but it's just good to hear you know it's good to hear that our rookies are doing well uh, as I said in my last video, um, you know, it's it uh, early days of the of training camp tend to favor the defense just because the offense is busy trying to get everything installed uh, from a game plan schematic standpoint. So the defense generally has the edge in this time frame, but that's that shouldn't take away from the effort and uh, good plays that both the Kobe and and Darion have been making. I'm very excited about these two, and I think they both contribute sooner rather than later. And I cannot wait to see them on the field for some preseason action and uh, see how see how they do against some NFL NFL talent here. So looking forward to that. But that's gonna be it for now, guys. I will catch you guys on the next one. And as always, go Rams.